Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hello, Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Hi, I'm Chris, the pharmacist. And today the topic is potassium. Uh, believe it or not, you know, he was the pharmacist, I'm a physical therapist, we're not nutritionists. However, potassium affects uh, both of our jobs incredibly. Oh, yeah. uh, and that's why we need to know the basis of it, as well as everybody out there, because it's an electrolyte, also in a nutrient that yep, is mineral. absolutely critical to keep you healthy, fit, and pain-free, which is our motto of this yep, channel. So you are going to learn what foods you can eat to get this critical mineral or nutrient, and Chris is going to go through it. You've done a lot of research on this. Yep. It's up to date, and just stay tuned. All right, so potassium. Yeah, I, I would say I think the title's right. It is probably the most critical electrolyte, mineral, or nutrient for our body. It, it's, it's in every single one of our cells. So, I mean, it actually, as a matter of fact, uh, you know, so potassium rules the inside of the blood, uh, all cells, and sodium kind of rules the fluid outside of the cells. Salt. Salt. Okay. Sodium specifically. Yep. Um, but we're going to kind of, we'll talk a little bit about that as we progress. Sure. But, um, but the reality of it is, is potassium is critical for muscle functioning, nerve transmission, bone health. I mean, it actually works in your kidneys from proper kidney functioning as well as helping to minimize kidney stones. So and I've read something about heart yep. health. Oh. Well, heart health, immensely, it helps with the rela potassium. When we have a diet high in potassium, it helps to keep those blood vessels relaxed. Okay. Uh, and so, and basically, in potassium, interestingly, there's just so many things that are intertwined with sodium. The diet that we choose, if it's higher in potassium, naturally will keep our blood pressure low. There's a study upon study that shows it's a perfect relationship between potassium in our diet and heart attacks. The more potassium we have, the less heart oh attacks really? we have. Oh, really? Yep. Now, and can we just the, take a, maybe you're getting to this later, just take a, a potassium pill and that'll be We're going to talk about that. Okay. I'm not a fan All of All right, we're going to we'll, get into that. We'll get to that later. The good stuff's kind of in front of us for a couple of examples. But the higher sodium in our diet, which is the American diet, <laughs> and lower potassium, higher risk of heart disease and heart attack. Sure. So uh, there is study after study after study. You can go into Harvard Medical Review. You can use some of the simple things like WebMD. You can find all of these things if you want to look for yourself, guys. Sure. Um, but, you know, you can go to the National Institute of Health. That's an excellent site. That's going to be a lot more scientific reading. So <laughs> if you really dig into this, the details, it's an excellent site for you guys. Just type in potassium, what it's good for, uh and you're going to find... Uh, and if you go to the National Institute of Health NIH site, yep. it's excellent for you because I know a lot of your people like to kind of look at some of the things that we talk yep, about. Yep, dig into the details. And if you're not into that, don't worry about it. He's going to give you yeah. the information so, and translate it. So the reality of it is, is, you know, so how much potassium do we really need? Yeah. And so, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of a, for guys, it's a little bit higher than women. It's about 3,400 milligrams, which, is, you know, what does that really mean? Right. Wow. And then women, it's about 2,600 milligrams. But, if, you know, if they're pregnant, it's 2,900. So they have some ranges. Um, but the reality of it is you get, if you're roughly getting 3,000 milligrams of potassium in your diet, it's a good thing. And the cool thing about taking potassium through foods mm -hmm. is we can't overdo it. Whereas you had talked about the supplements. Sure. You can overdo it. And so the FDA actually limits the amount of potassium you can get in that, whether it's you know potassium citrate, potassium chloride. So you get sick from it if you overdo it? You can get sick. You can get nauseated. And that can cause lesions in your guts. So they actually limit it. Um, so I'm not a fan of people who are saying, if, if I have a customer that comes up and says, you know, I'm just looking to get a little bit more potassium in my diet, and I'm like, you know, first you want to talk to your doctor because potassium levels itself are very, very specific. Mm -hmm. And so they want you basically between three, you know, depending upon the study, 3.5 and 5 is the easiest numbers to remember. That's a number you get That's from a blood test? That's your therapeutic window. Yeah, so when your doctor takes blood work from you, they're looking at this number. Sure. It's very important for doctors because, it, you know, too much is bad and too little is bad. And if you have too much, the side effects are very similar to if you have too little, which is kind of weird. Um, but you treat it, you know, so you treat it very differently. If you have too much potassium, you can actually, when you get really high, like if it's that number is a six, and that's millimoles per liter, in case you're keeping score at home, because I know you love those. Uh, <laughs> so then we want to use a binder, and there's going to be some medical, it's an acute medical crisis. So you're saying to get that number in there, if you take Supplements. You need to take too many of the pills. You'd have to take a lot. You'd have to take a bottle to do it. 
So it's, oh. it's hard. Okay. But which is good. you could hardly not eat too it's many It's really foods. hard because of the way that the, pa- the potassium that's packaged in all these different fruits and vegetables that we have up here, uh, it's a little bit different as far as how the, it's absorbed and yep. actually how it's connected and, and, and maintained in the foods that we sure. eat. So for whatever reason, and I looked pretty hard, it's just really hard to over and imbibe in potassium when you're a healthy adult. Yep. Now, that's not to say there are things that we have to be careful with. If you have renal failure or kidney failure, mm-hmm. or you know, and if you're uh, congestive heart failure with renal failure, you cannot eat a lot of potassium. It actually can actually backfire on you. So Even through diet? Even through diet. Okay. So we have to be careful. So it's always something that, you know, if you're going to make some major changes, you should be visiting your doctor regularly and have a conversation with them. Because I think, you know, let's say all of a sudden you're like, oh, I've got a bad kidney. I mean, sure. a lot of people, you know, all these, a lot of the medical things that we have can go on for years and years and years. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden we kind of go in because we're like, oh, I don't feel right. And then you go in and all of a sudden, oh, you've got a problem. So if you have, again, s- congestive heart failure. Or renal disease. A kidney, kidney, kidney disease. Kidney issues. Then potassium intake needs to be it monitored. Is, it needs to be monitored very carefully. Okay. So, like I said, when we said that that neurotherapeutic, uh, that, that window there, too low, you can feel fatigue, mm-hmm. you can feel kind of not right, you can be constipated. Sure. Uh, your heart may not beat properly. Too high, you can feel fatigue, you can feel nauseated, or your heart doesn't beat properly. Okay. So, the symptoms when they present to an ER situation, like if you're hyperkalemia, which is too much potassium, yep. or hypokalemia, uh, which is too low potassium, you know, one is probably made from diarrhea or dehydration. You know, you could have just yep. excreted it out, whereas too much, you know, who knows if there's something going on with the kidneys, who knows okay. if there's something else in your body that's happening. The doctors are going to determine yeah. that, but the treatment paths are very different. So you got to get, you know, if it's too high, we got to get it down. If it's too low, we got to get it up. Yeah. We want to basically back in that box. So, so it's typically a person will have those numbers f- if you go to the doctor, they yeah. take a test. And if you, you'll know, like, oh, you, you know, your numbers are a little high, they're going to address They will address it with diet. medically, yes. Yeah. So, and, and again, you know, for all healthy individuals, so the vast majority of people on yep. the planet are not going to have a problem with it. So okay. it seems like if you eat a well-balanced diet that's oriented high with fruits and vegetables and, and beans in certain cases, uh, you're not going to have a problem. You can't seem to overindulge is, is the point I guess I was trying to make. Right. You know. So as far as those people, what benefits are we going to get if we eat plenty of this versus stuff out of a box? And Yeah, and well, that's my least favorite thing. Anything out of a box is bad. I mean, it's, sure. just, it's like everybody, you know, you, you want a cookie, you want crackers, and I, I think that's fine, but, you know, mm-hmm. everything is balanced in moderation. Sure. But at the end of the day, you know, the key is, and I think the, we touched on it early, is, is blood pressure. So basically a diet high, you know, the number one killer in the United States, heart disease. Right. So if we want to protect ourselves, if we have a diet that's f- centric on fruits and veggies, it's going to help to minimize our blood pressure issues. And oftentimes if you're eating enough potassium in your diet, you're not seeing pharmacists and doctors for meds because your blood pressure is under control. Sure. And so if your blood pressure is under control, it minimizes your risk for all the other complications that can occur with the heart. So we could consider this being our medicine. This is, yeah, in a lot of ways, yeah. But, mm-hmm. I mean, it, you know, and it, like I, I think I've said before, you know, it's an ounce of prevention is a pound of cure. Sure. And that's sure. a very famous person said that a long time ago, and I don't know their name. But <laughs> I mean, I actually, I think it might have been one of the Surgeon Generals. Um, but that said, I mean, it's, it's, you know, sayings aside, it's still very important to gravitate to these types of things in our diet. Um, and the, you, the variety is key. You know, eat the rainbow. I mean, if, if you're in a nutshell and you're like, well, what's a generalized guideline? Anything that's yellow or orange is generally going to have a pretty healthy source of sure. potassium. But you can take that a step further. A lot of things that are green have a lot of potassium as well. It also seems like things that grow in the soil, like the mm-hmm. potatoes or the beets, yep. under the ground, and yep. they're absorbing well, m- minerals or whatever yeah, they, from the well, soil. They do. I mean, it's a root, so it absorbs the mineral. And actually, it's strange. Like we'll just pick on the beet. Uh, one of my, I make a smoothie with these just about every day. But the potassium, more potassium is in these leaves than it is actually in the sure. beet root itself. So, and they each have different values. I mean. Honestly, if you want to get a, if the, these make an excellent salad. So if you can, sure. that I'm a cook or anything like yep. that. But I mean, I throw these on burgers if I'm making them. Yep. I mean, but you can toss a salad with this and 
a little romaine lettuce and spinach, you get a good salad out of that. So, and it's it's high, in, it's actually higher in potassium than the beetroot itself. So people might be asking, well, how much do I really need to? Should I just make sure I eat something from these food groups? And you, there's more. Yeah. You can you can Google it. I mean, every day, variety probably is key. every day. Yeah, because you're not going to want to eat beet leaves every day. Right. Right? I mean, you will drive yourself off the deep end. And, you know, I mean, cantaloupe is excellent. Uh, bananas are excellent. We don't have oranges up here. We don't have kiwis up here. I mean, we don't have, we do have an avocado. There high, you go. Very high in potassium. Yep. But uh, you got sweet potatoes, you got potatoes. I mean, all of these foods. So you just want to put all these things in your diet. I mean, interesting, potatoes are an interesting one because for diabetics, it's not really good. Because oh. it's, a lot of sugar and starch, lots of starch. Sure. So, so you have to be careful. So again, everything's with balance and with a modicum of, of uh, you know, you just, I don't want to eat like six potatoes. I mean, it's, you know, sure. that, that's not going to necessarily do it. You don't necessarily want to have a potato salad. Although if it's mixed in, you're still going to get your potassium, but you're going to have all the mayonnaise and all the other things. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All that's what makes <laughs> it taste good. So it's kind of hard to, you know, you have to kind of balance with what you, what you got. So for myself personally, I find this pretty exciting because I, I didn't know beets were yeah. part of the high potassium. I've been eating avocados. I didn't realize I was eating that much potassium. Yeah. I've uh, read some nutritional books. My, I think my diet's relatively healthy, but I think I can get it more healthy and enjoy my diet even oh, yeah. more Absolutely. Uh, through some of this. And, and hopefully now, is this going to make me stronger? Well, I don't know. It's you said muscle contraction. It does. Well, yeah, potassium is a huge part of any muscle contraction. So if you're going to move your arms up yeah, or yeah. bench press or run. But it's not going to make me bigger It's not going to make you bigger, stronger, faster. But it is going to make, I mean, the potassium makes your, it's coupled with sodium. And there's a whole electrical chemical exchange. Sure. But basically it helps to make that muscle contract properly. It's very, very necessary, critical thing, especially your heart muscle itself. Yeah, yeah, so that that makes sense. I really like that heart. The stats of people eat more potassium, less yeah. salt is yeah. a clear there indication. There are study after study that show. I can't, I can't stress that one enough. Sure. So I mean, it's just and the American diet is exactly the opposite. It's too much salt, not enough potassium. Yeah. We can just tilt the teeter totter, sure. so to speak. If we can do that. I mean, we make huge changes for sure. everybody. And then you're not having... Wh what about the nervous system? You said it's good yeah. for... Yeah, so yeah, it basically it's got a voltage-gated... It, it helps with nerve impulses, so it helps to create... How make those cells make those so functionally? Impulses. Is that going to make us more alert? No, faster? we're not going to turn into the flash or anything like that. Right. It's just, but it just allows healthy nerve conduction. Okay. So I mean, it's going to help promote the cell. I mean, it's in every cell in our body. I mean, I we can't stress that enough. Sure. So it it governs a little bit of everything. Um, and not like just, yeah. So I have a thirty six hundred milligram of, of potassium diet. It's not going to make you a superhuman. It's mm -hmm. just going to make you a healthy human. Sure. And I think that's the thing that we're all striving for, is to have balance and healthiness. And I think that's kind of the key to quality of life. Right. Uh, right. So if we can continue to eat a well-balanced diet, with a variety, I mean, eat the rainbow. When dietitians tell you to eat the rainbow. What are you talking about, eat the rainbow? Eat the different colors of foods. So the colors yeah, have something so to do with nutrients. Blueberries, avocado, beets, that's red. So, I mean, bananas are yellow. Yeah. Okay. This is orange. Roy G. Biv, man. You're eating Berries, that too, I understand. Berries, raspberries, blueberries. Yeah. They're not quite as high in potassium, but they still, they all contain it. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's, you're, so find things that you enjoy. Whether it's throwing in a blender and a smoothie. I mean, every day I, I make a smoothie that uh, the staples are yeah. beets and oranges, kale, okay. and spinach. All right. Well, I, I think, you know, this is, uh, incredible information to absorb and uh, change your life. We're going to do another video. Uh, it'll be coming up in a, probably a couple more weeks on just 10 of these items and a little bit of fun on how to make it. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, you want to make your eating fun, healthy, and, uh, you know, pain-free. <laughs> yeah, because eating should never <laughs> cause pain. That's right. All right, thank you, Chris. Uh, potassium, the big letter K, uh, plus... It's not special K's, but it's potassium. potassium. We should have mentioned that at the beginning of the Scientific video. Scientific element, it's the letter K. So, <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, the, the giveaway. Oh, the giveaway. My goodness, we got to give this oh, away. Oh, the giveaway. We are giving away Bob and Brad foot massagers. It's got little to do with potassium, but it's great for healthy feet, keeping your feet. doesn't do anything to do with the odor of your feet, but no. it does have a lot to do with how good your feet feel. No, Circulation. Circulation. There you go. You betcha. All right, go to Bob it and Brad. It feels good. I like do to, it. I like to say this. Go to bobandbrad.com, go to the giveaway section, click on that. It'll have the information that you can fill in and win one of these buttes, uh, and we'll send it right to your house. There you go. It's Be worth careful. your time. Potassium starts with a P, but you're going to notice K.
cave with a plus, and that means potassium. You're going to see it all over the place and YouTube uh, thumbnails in science all the time. Every, Absolutely. Everyone knows. has nothing to do with Special K's, the cereal. No, not the cereal. I looked it up. There is potassium in Special K's, but, you know, yeah. forget that. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> not much. Not much. Not <laughs> enough.